Hi, so my name is Roberto, and I am the co-founder of Squadron. So at Squadron, we use drones and mini drone-like shows for STEM engagement. We also do some mini drone-like shows as an entertainment uh, area for birthday parties, weddings, etc. But we are really focused on the education side of it. So we teach coding, AI, and a special science. So uh, we started uh, uh, about a year and a half ago, and. Uh, we joined the Venture UWA program at the University of Western Australia. So during the last five to six months, they have been helping us to, uh, to test our services in the markets. And uh, it has been successful. Uh, we've noticed that there is a demand for our service. And uh, yeah, we are here to meet people and so that they can hopefully help us uh, find new doors for our services. So we need people uh, that can open the gates in the industries, in different industries, education, and uh, yeah, government. Yeah. Typically, when you're learning coding, you sit on a, on a, you know, you sit on a computer and you start typing some code, and then you, you're programming some kind of animations, right? But what we're trying to do is use the drones because what happens is when you have the drones, you can physically see what the drone is doing with your code. So if you make a mistake, you can adjust it, and you know this kind of. There is some kind of abstract concepts that sometimes it's hard for people to understand, but with the drones, you know, it's way easier. And at the same time, the whole point and the whole vision of our, our company is to be able to provide an opportunity for people to discover a talent that they may not know they have unless an opportunity is being given. Coding is not something that you wake up one day and you go, I'm going to try that. Okay? So it's something that you have to have an opportunity to try it and then you realize, ah, actually, I'm good at it. And this is very important because coding is behind every single thing we do in our lives, okay? It's behind every single technology that we have. And the projections that we have is that, you know, we're just going to get more technologically advanced, right? So we need to find the people with the right skills that can help us solve big world problems that we have in the world with coding or AI, okay? You know, big problems such as food security or climate change. And coding is one of the things, one of the tools that we can use to solve these issues. During the last five months, yeah, we've been able to do some workshops already. So we've been to three or four different schools. And at the same time, we also go to different libraries. So libraries have uh, yeah, used our services to do some you know, workshops for the community. And uh, also we've done some private shows, just you know, mini drone-like shows. And the advantage of our mini drone-like shows is that we can go indoors. So we can perform a small show in a space like this, for example. And uh, yeah, so, so far we've noticed that there's demand for this. Uh, we've been told that uh, our service is new in Australia because we've had to do all our safety paperwork with CASA because we fly drones. And CASA has told us that, yeah, we're the first company in Australia doing something like this. The reason why I started this is actually because I wanted to learn how to program drones to do some swarming. And I bought two small drones uh, to do it at home. And I just started doing the coding and then my daughter she was five and a half years old at the time, so very young. And then she said, oh, what are you doing that? And I said, you know, I'm trying to code these drones to fly them in a swarm uh, to do some choreographies. And she said, can I try? So I told her how to do it, and she learned it like super fast. So I thought, okay, she can do it, other kids can do it. And then since then, you know, she's been practicing a bit more, and then she's developing those skills too. And then there's another kid as well, there's one of her friends too. Uh, her name is Tisha. Hi, Tisha. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she, same thing, you know. I tested it with her as well, with Tisha, and then yeah, she's been able to pick it up so fast. My name is Roberto and I am the co-founder of Squadron. We are at the Young Investors Carnival and our future is our investment. <laughs>